How's it going, teammates? This is Miss Charles, and we're back with Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Or as I like to call it, Nightmare Troubadour Nightmare Puzzle Simulator. Because fucking hell, the intermediate puzzles in this game are fucking hard. And I'm not dealing with that shit for a while. But anyway, as I'm last time, this episode, we're going to progress the game. Progress the story, see what we can do. Now, I did say last time I looked at a walkthrough. In order to progress the story, I need to go home and go to sleep. Uh, I don't know if I really care to do that, but uh, well, I might as well. Just go back and forth a few times. I go to bed. Apparently, Seto and Mokuba wake me up, of all people. And then, I don't know, I, the next thing happens. They give me instructions or something. Maybe they'll be able to find who fucking stole the trophy or whatever. I mean, we're looking for a blondie, apparently. That's all I know. And we didn't figure out who did it in the end. I just can't think of any other blondes except for Merrick. I don't know why the game like insists on Merrick being bad in this, though. I'm pretty sure he is. Because the, the, the walkthrough called him Yami Merrick. Which, considering, you know, he got redeemed all that ages ago, it kind of makes you wonder, you know, why would they why would they continue to make him bad? Are they, like, really that desperate to revisit the good old days? Right, I'm pretty sure I actually need to wait for night time. I hope I'm not... Like challenge to a shadow game, but I have got a feeling this game really wants to shove that down my throat, make me like it, and I'll be like, no, I'm allergic to shadow games, and the game will be like, ha, no such thing. You know, suffering is something you can consider one day. Right, okay, yep, go back and forth. It's night time. It's past the curfew. Mom and dad set for me. Then I'm just gonna fucking dash home like that. Go to sleep. And then I should be woken up in the morning by Seto and Mokuba. Two very rich people walking into some commoner's house. It's morning! Huh, maybe I messed that up then. Do I not have any emails? Hmm. Did I say I have new. Oh, I do have mail. Okay. Your daughter says has a new feature. Not only can you find more presents, easily with all search, but your daughter will also display your opponent's strength. Okay. I've kind of done good because I don't know what to do now, if I'm honest. I would have thought I'd be able to find... Hmm. Okay, should I maybe challenge that three-star duelist then? I mean, I can't do anything in the game shop because no one's going to talk to me there. Alright, well, let's test this feature first. Maybe I'll find someone new and original and, you know, fun. Who's about? Who wants to play good old Mr. J. Charles at a children's card game? H hello? Is anyone over here? God, this thing's fucking horrible right now. It says people are about. It goes slightly green, but it doesn't go pink at any... Oh, there we go. Right. Yes. Hello. Hello. Okay, now I'm not doing a one star. Probably like my or Tail or some bullshit player. Where's Seto Kaiba? Let me play him. No one star. I know there's a three star. We did this before. And I, I neglected to remember that this is something the dual disc can do now. All right, there's the three star. Who is he or she? It's Yugi. I've already beaten you. I don't want to beat you again. Hi, Dai. I used the search function on the radar and found you. It's been a while since we dueled. How about it? But you're already... <sighs> Did I miss something yesterday, maybe? I don't want to play you if fucking... No, I've already played you. I... What would I possibly get out of that? If the game was like, oh, yeah, get, more, get five more victories against Yugi, maybe I'd do that. Okay, I'm just going to wait for night time. Maybe we'll do a shadow game instead. Because I don't want to go against the same person again and again. I swear the game said you just you beat Bandit Keith, everyone goes home, you get woken up by Kaiba and Mokuba, and now that shit's not happening. Maybe I read the guide wrong. Maybe I'm an idiot. Maybe there is someone at night that I'm just neglecting, but... Oh, for goodness sake. Game, why do you do this to me? Why don't you just make it simpler for all of us and just tell me what to do? Why isn't there an objectives menu? If there was an objectives menu in this game, I'd be fine. I'd be like, oh, okay, that's what you do, is it? But no. No, the game insists on not having one of those. All right, moving left and right. Hoping I bump into someone that will cause me severe injury. I mean, more people come out at night. I don't think there's, like... Like, all the one-stars, they must be Terra and Mokuba. And, you know, proper shit people I don't want to deal with. As much as I appreciate this game having a story, and to me that does make it better than Dungeons and Dice Monsters, 
Like, why? Why on God's name did they not give us clear direction what to do in this bullshit? Right, is there another three? It's evening. I want to check evening as well. Is there someone over here? Someone having a nice swim? Is it at the pier? For fuck's sake. Okay, another three star. It's Yugi again. Go away, Yugi. Oh, hi there. I didn't expect to see you here. I just thought, you know, I'll be the only person you can play that's not actually any good at the game. I played you like a... Oh, okay. You just disappeared. Bye, then. Give me someone good. Give me someone nice. Give me someone I can sink my teeth at two star. Who's two star? Okay, no, I don't want to go against Bakura. But thanks for the offer. Yeah, I prefer board games, but please fuck off. Let's not. Oh, oh, I don't get a choice with this guy. Oh, but a cold deck's going to murder me. Damn it, I didn't want this for my... Fine, fuck you, game. I guess we're playing Yu-Gi-Oh card games now with someone I don't need to anyway. Even if I don't want to, personally. Fine, well, I've got a nice hand to begin with, at least. All right, cool. That's pretty pathetic. That's pretty annoying. Right, it didn't even take long to fucking get that out. Uh, yep, yeah, sacrifice, yeah. Yeah, that's not gonna do you any good. Okay, do that now. I'm gonna try and use my morphing jar. The rope of life can wait. So, I know I can summon a thousand eyes restraint now in this deck, which I do want to do. I want to see if I can actually get that done. I've got one of the cards I need. Tag with Manny's chest. Good for me. God, I hate Bakura's deck. I hate Bakura's and Joey's in this game. Because Bakura doesn't let you build up your shit. All you're having to do is, like, sacrifice yourself endlessly to the darkness. And on the bright side, it's not like this guy's going to have anything that good. I wish I could get rid of I wish I had a mystical space typhoon in this deck, to be honest. Or, like, you know, something that will stop the, the enemy doing something good with themselves. Right, yeah, attack me. Yeah, that's going to hurt. Yeah, the game's stupid. It's just a pretty stupid game. Right, fine, do that. Okay. So, he is... Is he winning? No, we're drawing. Okay. It's a bit annoying, but whatever. I could keep trying to get good monsters out, I suppose. That's a strategy for the game. I think I will, actually, because whilst I've got strong monsters, I'm going to try and use them. So, attack you. Yes, I'll have to sacrifice you later. Yes. But all that matters is having more attack points than you. Thus far. So as long as you don't get something like really annoying out, like I don't know, a fucking Jirai Gummo and flip the coin right, I should be okay. Yeah, fine. Get you there. Sacrifice everything because you know, we don't want to have a game that's constructive. Actually, you're quite a destructive individual, Bakura, but that's my opinion. Yeah, summon another fucking zombie. Uh, good, this is enjoyable for everyone in the family. Cool. Right, fine. Is there any good monsters I can get out? Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, you, you gotta ruin my life first. Thank you. Okay, I got a polymerization. That's nice, but <laughs> I'm not really gonna be able to get that relinquished out yet, am I? Yay. So I think those cards are gonna be useless. I'll set this. And then we'll all be able to draw some new cards next turn. But he's gonna be able to have a free turn to, you know, attack me. But that's fine, because my Morphing Jar is going to be super strong. Okay, so you attack there. Fine. So I can use my Morphing Jar, get rid of everything in my hand first. Okay, I've got a Shallow Grave there. That's kind of the thing I wanted. And activate the effect of a card. I mean, it's basically now or never, but I kind of... No, if I do that, then I'll get rid of all the monsters in my... Oh, I've got to keep the fucking hell right fine. Yeah, good. Yeah, use your ectoplasma. Yeah, injure me. All right, now I want to use Shallow Grave, but that means he's going to get a monster out. I don't want that for myself, if I'm honest. So I'm not going to let him have that. I'm going to... Wait a minute, I just win this turn, don't I? Unless... Does it do original attack, or does it do, like, attack of the... Oh, go away! No! Right, fine. So the game doesn't like being, you know, good. 
doesn't like being fun. Right, attack. Yes. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, now you have less. You'll have nine. Well, you have 350 left after that. You know, it sounds like a good price for a, a decent wrap or some shit. Now, do I activate Shallow Grave? Why the fuck not? This might, might leave me injured, but fuck it. See if I can get something else decent out of my deck. Uh, get a nice... I'll get a Morphing Jar out, please. Good, and you've got a... Oh, good, I actually let you get something nice out with yourself. Oh, God. Oh, is he going to fucking own me? I didn't realize he had that in his graveyard. Yeah, get rid of the good monster. That's nice. Am I done goofed it? No, wait. No, I haven't because... Well, I don't know, actually. Have I? Have I messed this up? I think I have, me I have this messed this up, haven't I? Well, maybe not, actually. Uh... Okay, so you'll do that. I get to draw new cards, which is nice. Right, that's all shit, but whatever. If I activate my Rope of Life now, which is literally burning my deck right now, it's got all my cards. Set in defense. I am just barely gonna win. Oh, that's fine. Right, that. Oh, no, I'm not, because the fucking deep seated sword. Oh, really? Really? Oh, fuck. Why? Why do you have to use your effect? I would have won if it weren't for you. I could have drawn a monster. Oh, fuck off, Bakora. No, go away. Ah, you're fucking happy. Everyone's fucking happy. I didn't want to fucking lose that shit. Yeah, good for you. Fucking ectoplasma. Fucking ectoplasma. Who uses that and gets away with it? <sighs> Fuck's sake. I'm not having a good day, to be honest. I'm having a shit time. My camera keeps going to the side. And I don't like it. <laughs> it's even happened now. That's why I keep swerving all the time. Like, left and right, like a crazy homeless driver. All right. What can I do now, then? Uh, I could maybe potentially try and find a duelist. Someone I actually want to play. Someone that actually plays the game decently. Alright, maybe go over... Uh, should I shadow game someone, or should I... I mean, who's about? Is that like a, th a five star? Oh! You're a five star? Since when are you a five star? If I don't think you knew about those creeps, die! Let me test the strength of your deck, just in case you run into them. Yeah, sounds like a good plan. Let's let's get started. Let's get this party hot. Let's get this party in here. Lose control, body and soul. Fuck your mum in a bowl. I don't know. I, I made that one up, but you get my drift, basically. Okay, so what do you have for me? I can win this one because he doesn't have a fucking bullshit occult deck. I can actually build up my defenses. Okay, uh, but I am going to have to be kind of careful of Yugi, to be honest. So I'm going to... Does this change everyone's mode? Change the battle of all monsters on your opponent's side of the field. That's not going to help. So I'll do... Dancing Fairy. And maybe I'll be able to flip it and then get some life points next turn. You can sacrifice if you want, Yugi. If you're in the mood for that. If you're in the mood to do that for me. Okay, well that's that. Okay, cool. Little Magnet Warrior there. Little fucking gay boy there. Right, declared attack. So if I say no, you flip. Damage. No! Oh, fuck off! Why am I to damage calculation? You always ask that. This is the one time you decide not to. Right, no, fine. What does that thing do if it gets the damage again? I've forgotten. I've forgotten. So I'm too angry at the game. All right, no, fine. Yeah, cool. Right, shield and sword, that might be handy in a minute. Let's contact opponent. Okay, so that's just, that's nothing. Okay, so do that. Neo's out. Got some Matrix up in here. Now, I can't get rid of Beta, but I can get rid of that bullshit attacking monster. 
And then hooray, I'll be in the lead. Yeah, now you want to use Ericus or some bullshit like that. Cool. This might actually be kind of a challenge. Maybe. You know, maybe. Okay, and the turn. And good for me. That should be enjoyable. That should be a nice delicacy. What are you going to do? Sacrifice for a summoned skull? No, you're not. You're going to get a skilled dark magician. Well, that's not a bad move, except I kind of saw something like that coming. Sorry! So that's fucked you guys over. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know he could do that. Hmm. Uh, so I could... Hmm. Well, this isn't reassuring at all. Uh... So I could get rid of... I could get rid of these monsters, but I need to lose my Neo. I don't want to do that. Why do I have to do that? Well, why is that a thing the game wants for my life? Alright, well, there's only one way I'm really going to get around this, and that's if I summon Whiptail and use him. Then use a Stimpak. Lose the monster I actually like in this game, you know. Lose my Neo, my Zelda ripoff. So that's going to be good. Uh, oh, I forget you get spell counters. Well, you're not going to be able to use them for long. I'm not going to let you. So, yeah. Yep, yeah, get that guy out of the way so you don't get a Dark Magician out by accident, because that happens sometimes. Sometimes you pee yourself, sometimes you fucking, I don't know, trip over something on the floor. Sometimes you accidentally get a Dark Magician out. Not gonna let that shit happen. Okay, that's fine. So I am in the lead and I've got slight field advantage. But you, you could ruin all that. I don't want him to, but he could do. He's a naughty boy this Christmas. Oh, good. He's drawing cards. That's exactly what I... Oh, good. He's drawing even more cards. Why don't you just get your whole deck out? Yeah, I know that would be good for Slifer. Right, I don't trust that face down, so I need to be careful about this. Okay, well, I can sacrifice my Whiptail anytime I'm ready. And I don't know if that face down is something I should be worried about. So I'm going to attack... Okay, well, that face down is a bit of a concern. But he didn't use Mirror Force, which is good. Right, that's... I mean, that's pretty useless, Yugi. Did you not think that maybe you could get something with decent attack out? No? Okay. It's your choice. I can easily get through that, to be honest. It just depends what he does next turn. Okay, he's going for... right. No. Oh, really? Why? Uh, what the... Wait, is that... This? what the fuck? Why would you do that? That was a stupid move. You could have given me your, second, your, your, your fucking gear golem and then we would have been fine. Destroy once and grant control of one... Really? Oh, alright, thanks, I, I guess. I don't know why you did something so stupid, to be honest, but whatever. Alright, well, I'm going to shield and sword him. I think I'll do that now, to be honest. And I'm not sure if that face down is something I should be worried about. But I'm going to, you know, not worry about it. Some of you, yes, get rid of my rogue doll. That rogue, that rapscallion. Then I'll be able to attack. So, so far, Yugi's a pushover. Hopefully I can keep this up. Uh, man, that's not good. Uh... Ah, uh, alright, fine, but I can still nurse for the rest of the turn, isn't it? Ah, shit. Oh, fucking Nora. What am I going to do now? I guess we'll see that in the next episode. Alright, well, that was kind of fun. And Yugi is actually putting up a decent fight. I can see why he's five stars. But it's going to be rewarding if I beat him. So am I going to be able to do that? Well, you guys are going to see that. But if you want to play game yourself, try and beat a five-star duelist like this guy. There'll be a link to the game in the description down below. Without further ado, we'll be subscribe channel until this time. See ya!